All right, guys, welcome back to yet again another episode of Ark. I know it's been a little bit. Uh, we've had a lot of stuff going on on the channel, and um, yeah, we've, we've just kind of been pretty busy. But we're back. Um, as you guys can see, I loaded in, trying to get things cleaned up for a sec, and I'm in the middle of a scorched event, so I just kind of left the game going. Because uh, that's one of the downsides to, to playing on this map, is there is a fair bit of downtime. Like, there's especially because I don't know why, it's just the, the storms and stuff come so frequent. It's like nonstop. So... We're going to go from here. Um, I, I was just dying because it was so hot, but then I busted out the tent, so we're going to go. But Ronan, thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat, brother. How are you doing today? But we are back, guys. Uh, I don't know how much longer. This, the event's been going for probably at least four minutes, five minutes or so. So we'll, now we're just going to be standing here waiting. And I even turned my fortitude up, too, because we talked about that last episode. Um, people were like, oh, you know, just turn your fortitude up. That way there's not that much downtime on the stream. So I put my down, I put the fortitude up to, like, four. And I'm still out here baking with freaking full desert on. I do have um, a ghillie suit, but I don't know where the hell it is. I got to eat some. Not fill us up. Oh. Oop. That's not tab. All right, so let me go ahead. Uh, I, I do have a ghillie suit. Yeah, it's right here. Let's see if this helps. These scorch events are brutal, man. There's, there ain't nothing you can do really to counter them. Golden, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah, as you guys can see, we are still dying. Even with soup and ascendant ghillie pieces. We're still out here getting shredded by this damn temperature. So I'm trying to I'm trying to see um uh, some of you guys were saying that you get certain pieces of gear and you can kind of walk around like it's nothing outside in these score. But I'm like, how? Let me know how. Because uh, the way my game is set up it is different. I had a sub. I got something stuck in my tooth, Chad. So annoying. It won't come out. Don't you hate that when you get stuff stuck in your teeth? Oh, that's the worst. Oh, my God. Talibar, what's up with that? How you doing? And Tim, it's good to see you, man. I, I don't know if we've already beat the map, though, Ari, because we've... uh. We haven't even done a single cave. That's actually what I wanted to do today. Was uh, I wanted to not? I wanted to do a cave, but I got to get these um, this base covered because in Scorch, there's really no open roof bases. They they're just not the meta. No, I did have dinner. Yeah, I just ate dinner and then uh, I had to pick my son up from his friend's house. I had the got I uh, found these baby raptors last episode. Wanted to imprint it real quick. Pretty brutal out here, man. Tim, thank you, thank you for the super chat. Popped into the Fallout 4 stream uh, during work, related lunch slash business meeting. I was bored <laughs> during that lunch. Had to pop in to say I appreciate you, brother. Well, I hope your boring lunch went good at least. Your lunch meeting. 
Yeah, we got some flyers now. We can we can make our way around the bay uh, the map pretty good. Um, we tried to tame one of those big flying bug things last stream, but that that didn't work out too well. So. Yeah, we ended up getting killed by a freaking death worm, which made no sense. <clears throat> there we go, finally. Finally, finally, finally. Go ahead, get all this squared away. So I, I got more clay here to actually build the um, the roofing and stuff, but we need uh, I need the rest of the materials, which I've been trying to walk over here. So let me get the I've been using the thyla to kind of transport material or resources, but I think we're actually just short on everything. I don't Pick these up. Oh, I can't. What do we need to repair this? Metal, electronics, polymer, and crystal. So now I can pick it up. As for, um, let me see here. Yeah, we can repair that pretty easily. We are gonna have to go out and get more silk. You guys got some buffering you said weird mine says excellent connection that's weird so we need silk and hide All of our hide uh, before. I gotta clean up these dinos too. They're freaking all over the damn place. That's weird, yeah. Cause like I said, on my end, it says uh, usually when I when when I'm buffering, I'll get a banner. YouTube will say. We are not receiving enough bandwidth, blah, blah, blah. Your viewers may be experiencing uh, buffering in them. But yeah, I didn't even say that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put down these other two, this in our fridge. I don't know why it's not in the fridge already. We're just trying to get our, uh, our new little base area over here squared away, guys. So I don't, I just don't have, actually, no, I know where the rest of my resources are. But right here. And Mr. I was like, I knew I had more stuff. I knew we had silk. Come on, man. Don't, don't play games with me. Oh, 
like we took some jet. Okay, so now we can go ahead and repair these. Now, this is a decent bit of heat resistance, too, so um, I'm hoping that this will help us out a bit. That should help out a bunch. <clears throat> My heat resist is currently 600, so... Um, I'm gonna do... AC's down here. Oh, yeah, guys. So, it, yeah, you guys told me in Scorched, the generators slowly break down over time, right? Yeah, I think that's what people said in Scorched Earth, the generators uh, slowly break down. Temporary, we'll put these here. This I'm gonna try to keep everything uh, separate and organized for the most part. My garbage night it's not till tomorrow, Tim. Uh, we got we do garbage on uh, Tuesdays. So yeah, we got to grab really quick. Uh, so once we're done with all this little housekeeping stuff here, where the hell is? Okay. Here we once we're done with this little bit of housekeeping stuff here, we're going to go ahead and uh, go run a cave. I got that one close by. We're going to start with that. And then, uh, and then we'll go from there. I also got to see if I get some new cry more cryopods made so we can get the base area cleaned up here with these dinos. They're kind of just all over the damn place. up My base keeps getting weirder every day. Well, we're trying to uh, like we had it over here. It was it was just it was too small. It, nothing was functional about it. So I kind of moved everything over here. Uh, now we're trying to get everything reorganized, cleaned up. But I have to get the the actual base built. But you know, a scorched earth is so uh, it's it's very very inconvenient with the way that you, you have to do things on this map because you can't just be out in the open for even like the shortest amount of time. It just does not work. So. Um, that's why you currently see me trying to struggle to get everything all squared away, but we'll get there. We will get there. I'm put my kites in, in here because we're going to go ahead and craft up some more um, cement paste. Grab that foundation piece too. 
Come over here. Reorganization. I, I generally like to do it. Another, see what I'm saying, guys? Another scorched event. It's crazy. But right now, I got the boots on. I got the. It, it, it generally takes a few minutes for this thing to get to like full temperature. But I'm pretty sure at full temperature, we're probably still going to be stuck inside the dam. So that's with all this ascendant crap I'm wearing. I still can't mess around in these damn scorched events. I mean, we're not dying crazy, crazy fast, so it's not the end of the world, but... Generators on. Um, ACs are pumping, even standing next... To oh, look, I can stand next to the ACs. <laughs> not much better. I, I, I or, hey, Otis, I, um... I raised my fortitude, but right now we're running 120 fortitude. Hundred and twenty fortitude. Still ain't enough. Like I said, it's not a big deal. I don't mind the scorch events. I just don't like the fact that you get ten a day. You know what I mean? If you get a scorch event every couple of days and they last for a while, you know, what I mean? but literally when you get it like Three, four scorch events a day, plus two to three sandstorms. It's 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 pretty rough, man. Did I not set my tap up over here? That's where I did. Guess I didn't. Dial nice and close, that way we can just drop the crystal onto it. Don't even have to. Yeah, the weather the weather events are, are, are pretty bad. They are pretty bad. But it is what it is. I mean pretty sure they'll patch it sometime. It just it's it's not like it's it, it's it's the worst thing ever. It just when you're trying to stream and, and, and accomplish stuff and you're spending you know Say I do a four-hour stream and I spend freaking 45 minutes to an hour of it just standing still in a tent or not probably even more. I say we spend half the time just stuck inside because of sandstorm or because of a, a scorched event. It's just it definitely uh, makes things kind of mad. You know what I mean? Okay, 
so we got this. Um, what do I need again for cryopods? Three hundred fortitude. That's absolutely ridiculously high. Unofficial, you guys, you get them one after another. Sometimes three sandstorms in a row. That's brutal. Good thing is aberration only has the earthquakes. Yeah, the earthquakes are, are no, nowhere near as bad. Yeah, I want to get the base finished here, but we got we got a bit of work we got to still do. To build the roof, I think all we need is clay, wood, a little bit of that. So we'll start off with roofing. Oh, and fiber. Only four pieces of equipment. I think we're gonna be short wood. Yeah, so we're gonna have to do... Two, yeah, yeah, that'll work. Really? Yeah, so we got to go out and get some wood real quick, which I should be able to do pretty easy. Got a chainsaw. Take a little bit of this gas for my chainsaw. I can see your message, Ronan. Just kind of tanking through these damn discourse okay. events. I, and nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for this chat. Um, Dynamite. What's going on? How you doing? Or Dr. Midnight. Where the fuck did I... Just let it go. Yeah. You know how my brain works. It doesn't. Dynamite. Such an idiot. Uh, we'll do the walls. One, two, three. How many walls do we see here? One is four. Oh, no, not, not, not freaking 23. Dump all that real quick, bud. Place these, so we got this.
go. Now I can pick these up. Oh, the smash the like button, uh, subscribe messages. Yeah, yeah, I can see those. When you guys get Streamlabs to, to popping them up. Yeah, I can see them. getting there guys we're getting there it's getting closed up for the most part let me get this closed if i can go in here so one two so we'll do wall pieces here Laid back with the super chat. Thank you so much. How you doing today? But uh, I got all my dinos and buildings deleted from the Scorch Earth world, and it made me spawn from the start with nothing one day. They're like, I have no clue. That's rough. See, Russian, I did, man. I, 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 we got a bunch of points in the fortitude, dude. Like a bunch, and I'm, I got 120 fortitude, man. And it's, I was able to at least walk around a little bit during that scorch event. We, like, it wasn't the end of the world. So I, I, I think we could work with that. You know what I mean? We could, we could work with that. You know what I mean? We got we got all this here. Almost got it closed up. But now we need a bunch of uh Now we just need a little bit more clay. Decent bit of this cactus. We'll go get sand and we're gonna be good to go.
trying to spend a few minutes here to get the base squared away because it's rough, guys. It's rough when your stuff is so unorganized. And then the problem is with arc is it just compounds. You know what I mean? Like if you just let it go, it just gets worse and worse and worse. And it eventually it becomes so overwhelming. And then it takes you three, four hours to sit there and untangle the knot that you get yourself in. So I'd rather just spend an extra couple minutes right off the bat. This up. Sources like that. Let me see. What do we need to craft up a few more of these biopods? Crystal, oil, polymers. Got something coming in. Some kind of weather event, of course. Because why not? This stuff we're just gonna sort. We got we're gonna have to sort through at some point, but right now I'm just trying to get this damn So much stuff that we could ease we could probably put in the grinder. So much of this stuff is so heavy, dude. Get the heaviest stuff at the top. This is good to go. But right now, we'll throw the cryopods and stuff in, in, in over here. Uh, Julian, what's going on? How are you doing? What am I going to fight the mana core with? Um, I don't know. Maybe Rexes? Oh, uh, we got some Rexes. Cryopods do I have currently? I think those are my normal ones. Yeah, so the configurable ones are the modded ones.
I'll build the cryo fridge at some point too, but right now we're just trying to get everything squared away. Um, but these little dudes could just chill here, I guess. It's not really a big deal. Um, and we lost all of our other dinos, I believe. Damn, that's it? I feel like I had way more dinos than that. I literally feel like we had way more dinos than that. That is not it, guys. Uh, Lunchbox, with the re-up on the membership, thank you so much. Uh, Max Styles, what's going on? I'm having a good day today. Definitely having a good day. The wife is not having a good day, though. She feels like actual shit. But... Grab my food. Bullets. More bullets here. Yield pots here. So we made some, we're, we're looking good, guys. Inventories for the most part are cleaned up. We still got a few more things we got to sort through, but it's looking pretty damn good for the most part. Got some sand here. Right, we'll get this clay going. Ed, how you doing? Good to see you, brother. Um, am I going to try the uh, Oasis Sore again? I, I mean, I would like to. I would definitely like to. Um, those things are no joke, though, man. We got We just got to rearm. That, that's pretty much the thing. It's just making sure that we have the, uh, the resources to actually go ahead and get it done. Oh no, F FCH, uh, definitely um, at me, man, because it's so it's really hard for me to, because a lot of the times you guys in chat are like talking amongst each other, and um, when I have you know a bunch of people talking, I'm trying to play the game, I'm trying to do a bunch of things, it's really hard. Like it, it takes extra time for me to have to sit there and and read every single message and try to figure out what messages are for me, what messages are not for me. You know what I mean? So uh, a lot of the times, if I don't see an at, unless like the chat's going slow and I can kind of hone in. Um, I, I just end up skipping over the messages because I, I, I don't know who's talking to me. And if I were to sit there and, you know, try to figure out exactly who's talking to me and it, it, I wouldn't be able to play the game. You know what I mean? I would just be sitting here reading chat the whole time. So yeah, definitely don't have to apologize for that, but um, I really appreciate the love. And uh, I'm really, really glad you enjoy it here, man. And angry with the super chat. Um, you plan on playing the center after this? Uh, one of the best mod maps. I, I, actually, the center is one of the ones I've never done before, right? I'm pretty, I'm pretty positive I've never done the center. Got some raptors getting close.
Oh, this stuff is seriously beat up. Say, hold on. It's got a bunch of stuff. So we'll leave this stuff over here for now. It's not a big deal uh, having that over there. Oh, I do want to move the grill inside at some point, but the rest of that can stay right there for right now. gonna take out my 30 yeah we'll have my 304 thyla which is out right now this cryopod and then i need my crew and dude Okay, so we need some sand. Can you, can you transfer the Oasis Sword to the other maps? <laughs> I mean, I don't see why not. Can it be? Can it be put in a cryopod? As long, I feel like as long as it can be put in a cryopod or uploaded to a an obelisk. I forgot they don't get uh, weight reduction on sand. Bunch of clay coming right now. Should actually be doing clay in both of them. Making some progress. It is again getting hot outside, and it's not even a damn scorched event. It's just a little hot, though, nothing crazy. Consider the visual storage mod, it auto sorts resources and allows you to. Allows remote crafting. That's, that's pretty high speed, man. Okay, so got this clay coming now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven wall pieces. Like, 
nine or so uh, roof pieces. Tim with the gifted brother. Thank you so much, man. And then the base will be closed up and we are going to be good to get the hell out of here. All I'm waiting on right now, guys. I did want to build a chemistry bench at some point, too. Uh, we got to start working towards that. So we need metal, uh, crystal, cement paste, polymers. Let's see what we got. Go towards that. Let me see. Uh, so we don't have any metal in there. I do got a little bit of metal in here. That we got yeah, barely anything. Holy crap. I don't know why I thought we had more than that. Yeah, I was actually going to ask, how was the ARC? So, you know, we, a lot of people have been talking about the Fallout TV show. The ARC also just released the TV series. Um, and I was going to ask, how, like, how is it, guys? Is it pretty good? Any, uh, any of you guys enjoying it? Not enjoying it? Underwhelming? Or like, like what? What's, what's the verdict? gonna grind up some metal that we have in base see if that gets us anything i got a bunch of metal structures and things like that we could break down
Like, it's unnecessarily hot out right now. Like, are you kidding me? Just for no reason. There we go. Okay, so we should have enough to finish this now. We might need a little more wood. Okay, so how many wall pieces do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think let's we'll start with five. It's okay. Um, didn't follow the story exactly. So, yeah, uh, how do you. Uh, is the ARC TV show not the easiest thing to watch then? Like, I don't even know what the hell Paramount is. I thought somebody said. I thought it was just on Netflix. Go. Start with six roof pieces. Yeah, I've never played this center. Um, would you guys say the center is better than uh Actually, that might be why I'm, I'm burning up right now, because I didn't have those, those pieces of clothing on. But yeah, I got desert clothing, and I got this ghillie on. Um, but yeah, we should be okay now. I, I forgot that I, I, I got attacked by those raptors. Two more pieces. There it is. Short wood, are you kidding me? Three pieces, freaking wood. Game is short. It's a mod fan map. So would you would you guys say that you like like the map the center better than island or worse than island? Much better than the island map. Yeah, because out of all the maps, I'd probably say the island is my least favorite. Just, I, I don't know. I feel like the island map is so, so, so great. Like, even um, Aberration, you know what I mean? Which I would consider the harder map than island. I don't know. It's just something about the island I just don't vibe with. The same as I do like with aberration. I don't know what it is. It's not like it's inherently bad, but there's something about it. I've, I've only played like, what, two hours of Genesis 1? We've never tried Gen 2 though. 
I've, uh, I have only done a very, very little bit of Gen 1. That was at the end of my original ASC playthrough. Um, we, we did a bit of a Gen 1. Okay, so the base is secured. Ish. The base is so big, it seems like the wind's still blowing through here. So now let's gear up. We're going to go uh, clear out this cave. Well, the storm's going. I'm trying to see if I have any other metal that we can scrap. I wanted to keep this gear. We can scrap the just because it's gonna be so good, like for like other maps. You know what I mean? Like that's some really good freaking plate right there. But it's like I don't need it for this map, but I don't want to get rid of it because I, I I might need it for another map. All we got, or I thought we had more stuff to grind. Okay, so let's see what we're working with here. Uh, can empty these out now because we're gonna have to do up spark powder and stuff. Spark powder in one, and then we'll do the chitin in the other one. Sandstorm is passed. Stone for spark powder, we need flint, and then we're also going to need uh, stone for the kites in here. So, one more trip with our dode here, but instead of getting sand, we're going to be getting stone. What's going on? How you doing? You watched the whole Fallout series in one night? Yeah, I've only watched four episodes. I'm like, I'm like taking my time with it. I just watched uh, another one last night. Yeah, but I've been, I've been taking my time. How many episodes are there? Isn't there only like eight or nine episodes or so? Uh, Ragnarok was that so golden. I did play on the Ragnarok map though. We did that one actually multiplayer. Um, I remember we uh, we fired up a stream and I, I allowed everybody to join in on the server that I was on and then we uh we ended up uh playing on Ragnarok for a little while 
Only eight episodes? Yeah, let's see. That means I still got half the season left, dude. I'm averaging like one a day, you know what I mean? What in Tarnation? What's going on? Let me get rid of heavier stuff. We're just out here for the flint mainly. My first arc stream. Uh, hey, Val, I do. I, I want to rewatch that one of these days. We, we were talking about it uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, you know, just sitting down and watching, rewatching that stream. But I mean, I was I was a noob. I, that was my first ever time playing that game in my entire life. You know what I mean? It was really the first time playing a game even like it. You know what I mean? I, I never played a game like Ark. You know, Conan, like none, none of those. I never, so that was my first ever. All right, there we go. So we just needed a little bit of this. Why am I getting to flip by hand? I only needed a couple pieces and I, I don't have an Anki saddle. So I just ran out, grabbed a couple pieces real quick. There we go. So that'll be more than enough spark powder to last me ages. All right, now we're good. We don't need anything else. Um, let's go grind up this metal. I highly doubt we're gonna get anything, but this kangaroo is still stuck here, dude. I tried to free him. But I'm gonna have to free him from this life. Oh, generator's out of range. Damn it. You know what? Mm. Should we just build another Jenny? No. I'm gonna, I'll just move the grinder. Need to get it closer anyways. Another wit. I completely forgot that you can grind stone down the flint. 
Me, well, I mean, another thing is, though, I don't really, I can't, I need all my stone right now. I can't even afford to turn any of it into flint. Nice, so we ended up with 268 metal. Gotta love it. I think that's enough, too. Yeah, I completely forgot you could grind uh, stone down in the flint. So we still need quite a few electronics. Which is going to eat into our metal. Okay, so only things we're short now is polymers and electronics. Um, this is gonna eat into my metal a little bit. But we gotta get some more electronics done up. Turn all that in. All right, it is what it is. Let, let's go. Uh, let's go check this cave down, guys. Uh, I'm gonna drop my chainsaw and stuff I won't need for the cave per se. Just in case. Uh, we got water. We got heal ammo. Aberration short? No, no, we full we full finished aberration. One of the things that sucked about our aberration playthrough too is um, we uh, we played it all the way through. Um, I made a whole army, all that shit, and then I wiped my first time fighting. Um, what's his face? Rockwell. Yeah, I, I wiped fighting Rockwell. And uh, it was it was devastating because, you know, I spent so much time breeding that army um, and, and getting prepped up and, and all that stuff. It, it was it was a lot of work to uh, to go in and do that fight. And then I ended up wiping. And it, uh, like I said, it was it was pretty bad. But um I told you guys straight up it was either A, I was just going to move on, we weren't going to beat the boss, or I was going to um, save scum. So I ended up uh, rolling my save back and uh, fighting Rockwell again. Oh, these are...
don't remember exactly where the artifact cave is. I feel like it was on the right hand side on one of these walls. You had to be up on like the second level or something like that. It was a close first attempt, Val. Yeah, but it, it hurt, man. It that was a that was a big L when we lost there. I think this is it right here. Patrick with the super chat, man. New member of Tim B's boot gang donation retaliation squad. Oh, FCH, I appreciate you, man. Seriously, I'm, that was kind, dude. I don't, I don't get sad too often. I have my days though. Reacting to me playing. Yeah, we we talked about it, Bell. We talked about it. What do you mean, Tim over here building building these outside entities? Tim, what are you doing? What are you what are you doing? Bobby with the super chat. Uh so I'm trying to get all the best uh, Lethal Zone Mayday loadouts. What are the three best ones for Lethal? All depends on your play style, really, Bobby. Um, if you're someone who really enjoys using, you know, blunt weapons, uh, you can rock pretty much any blunt weapon. Um, the lighter the weapon, the better uh, for swing, you know, your, your stamina. But uh, yeah, there really is no like best for lethal I, I guess it's just whatever you're the best with uh because i've seen guys you know that use sword play really really well and that's their best style or um they use um blunt weapons really really well or heavy weapons really really well it kind of all just depends on your play style and like what are you good at you know what is the best weapon system for you to use in the game and then uh, go from there i don't know what this is but i want to chop it okay, it's just visual That sucks about the Thyla in these caves. You can't really jump forward like that. Leading a rebellion? Of course you are, dude. But I, 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 I got rid of probation. Tim, I got rid of it, dude. So we didn't have no problems. Like, like, what else do you want from me, dude? Like, you, you, you already overturned probation. Is that one of those? What the fuck is that thing going? What am I gonna play the primal fear mod? I don't know. I, I asked if people were interested in, you know, seeing me try it out. Um, I don't recall there being a whole lot of interest. What do you guys think about? Because it's not that horror mod. 
for 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 arc the only thing is i didn't bring any uh rabies stuff and my health's only at 350 i think you need like at least 400 health to survive rabies right She looks really cool in here. Yeah, Val, the only issue with stuff like that is we would have to find all those moments. You know what I mean? Like somebody would have to go through, spend hours combing through all that content to find those highlights. I have discovered why Prophet's Rest is so generous with their water. The well at the edge of the compound is built directly on top of what the locals call a water vein. An endless supply of water bubbles up from beneath the earth. Its existence is a minor miracle, though compared to what I saw in the starlit sanctuary, minor is the operative word. I suppose this ark must be floating among the stars, just as the island was. What an extraordinary thought. I cannot fathom how such a thing is possible, but that remarkable metal must be at the heart of it. I am certain. Not a whole lot of enemies in here so far. Dump that though. Oh, damn Dyla. Jump it. Oh, I thought that was a cave drop. That was the artifact? <laughs> That looked like a cage drop. Let's see if there's a cage drop at the bottom here.
Negative Ghost Rider. Grab a little metal while we're here. Yeah, my Drabo is still lost under the ground, unfortunately. Okay. Down there swimming with the fishes. Out pretty damn good though. I forgot that Thyla had such good carry weight too. Is that a storm? Dr. A, DJ said he understands why I punched the granny. See, at least some people understand. Have my back. I appreciate you, dude. Damn it. I'm not getting this metal out of here, though. Not like this. God darn it. Well, that sucks. twice.
Oh, uh -huh. I gotta turn my lights on, chat. It's getting wicked dark. This had me disappearing in, in, in my green screen. We ended up with one artifact already. There we go. Peace. Let's see how this area didn't count as sheltered, man. I did not steal no teddy bear. Don't put nothing like that on me. I I earned that teddy bear straight up. You see, that that's what I always try to tell you guys, how the stories get embellished. They always get added to, you know what I mean? I go from earning a teddy bear from a little girl for finding her cat. You know, people leave out all the details. But yeah, Brian over here beating little girls up, stealing her teddy bears. And I'm like, bro, that's not even what happened. It's like chat wants me to be super savage, so when I'm not, they just like, they gotta like paint this. They gotta paint me to be this person I'm not to live up to their expectations. But the real Brian falls short when it comes to savagery. You know what I mean? The real Brian is not even one fourth the savage that chat wants me to be. steal her teddy bear she gave it to me dude she gave it to me like i found her cat i i traveled into the to the dangerous wasteland all right with murderers and thieves and killers and monsters all right to bring this little girl her cat back did you, did you guys forget that We literally had to travel across the world, the dangerous world, to get her that damn cat. Gotta move full speed. What do you mean I went like a hundred feet? We travel far, dude.
Chat's always trying to embellish on my savage moments and then downplay my 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 hero accomplishments. Like, all my accomplishments are always downplayed. And my sad like these savagery moments are just always so blown out of proportion. Like when I played um Fable and I I was playing like a straight hero build. I got no credit for being a hero. None. Seriously, right now, guys. Tim with the super chat. Granny punching, dog smacking, teddy bear thievery. Oh, and jet ad. I don't even. The jet was for Mama Murphy, dude. It's for Mama Murphy. This was the old dialer that could jump. Priscilla was a 35 months holy crap you chased the kitty with a gun no i i was i had my gun out priscilla to protect the cat i was protecting the cat I feel like I'm going in circles all the time. I got a decent uh, sense of direction when it comes to this game. Well, this map, at least the area I'm in right now. But we actually went in a circle last episode, like or the episode before. I got completely turned around, and lost. I had no clue where the hell my base was. It was it was pretty bad. Red drop over there. I think we'll grab that real quick. Get this metal cooking up. Cook up. Find the rest of this crap that we just got.
Wow, that's really silent. <laughs> Where's the red drop chat? What did I ever do to this game here before it's a treat? The ten jet commandments never get high on your own supply. So what are you trying to say? I'm getting high on Mama Murphy's supply. I did not get Ben killed, Tim. He fell, dude. I even went down to save him. Yeah, I went down to save him. And then I, I I didn't I didn't tell Kenny to leave him and like like you know what I mean I. Oh, you talking about the dude with the silver shower, dude? Yeah, we saved him. Yeah, it only took me like four four attempts, but and him dying four times, but I, I eventually saved him. Oh, yo, the suppressor is really quiet. That's pretty crazy. Wow, you just guys see the stats on that chainsaw? Six sixty-five. Can you fight with that? Can we get some more stuff we can grind up here? But can you use the chainsaw in combat? Will it be effective? Uh, the guns can be pretty effective. Yeah, if you if you get high enough level ones, um, yeah, you can you can definitely do some work with the guns for sure. Now, if you if you just use the the baseline crafted guns, those are absolute dog shit. Like they are really bad. But um, once you get your hands on some like higher level guns out of drops and stuff, yeah, they're pretty they're pretty good. Do I ever play RPGs like Dragon Quest? Uh, I've never played Dragon Quest. You know what's super upsetting, guys? I I used to be really big on MMORPGs. Like I played World of Warcraft, like it was my job. Like every day, I was guys. I was raiding. I was a I was a prop pally or a prop warrior. Um, I tanked like what the second half of Legion. You know, I did, I, I I put a lot of time into world of warcraft and then um there's been what battle for azeroth expansion came out i didn't really play that one then shadowlands came out i like barely i never even finished the the, the leveling for shadowlands 
uh because i started doing youtube and i didn't have time and then um the new dragon dl or expansion just came out and i didn't even play that one and now there's another expansion about to release and i'm like it's called like the war within or something and i was like damn how is there another expansion i ain't even played the last one yet dude So yeah, now there's another WoW expansion and it got me in my feelings when I seen the trailer for it. So I love WoW, guys. I really do. Um, I wish I had time to play MMOs like I used to, but WoW is like, even if you want to be casual um, and like read like LFR and stuff like that, you still got to put in like 10, 15 hours a week. You know what I mean? I've not, I have not played the Final Fantasy MMO yet. Um, I wanted to try that. I, I even wanted to try Elder Scrolls Online. I wanted to try that MMO also. But, and the Star Wars one. I wanted to try the Star Wars MMO. But yeah, the big issue is just um, time. MMORPGs are very, very time intensive. And, um... They're not popular enough on, on my channel for me to like do his uh for like content, so it just doesn't work. Much as I would love it and I would want to, I can't sing at the time. Empire Earth? No, I've never even heard of that. Yellow is right there. Who's Yeah, MMORPGs and um, RTSs, like real-time strategy games, um, city builders, things like Civ, um, Civilization VI, uh, Rise of Nations, Age of Empires, like those style games are like, oh, this is going to actually suck. Like Hearts of Iron, you know, Hearts of Iron 4, it's, it's a hardcore ass uh, RTS, but I, I love those type of games. I haven't even played Company of Heroes yet. Like, I wanted to play Company of Heroes 3 because it looked really, really cool. Just haven't had the time. Hope it's strong. There it is. Uh, I've I've played KCD. Oh yeah, we played. Oh no 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 no! Stop stop please. Yeah, we played KCD. Um, I'll be I'll be checking out the second game too when it drops. When it goes in. A How long do you guys think till they patch that? Like the, the drops going into the ground. Never, it still happens in ASC. <laughs> Damn. Purple coming down there. Um... You gotta have faith, chat. Maybe this time will be different. You know what I mean? Maybe this time will be different.
No, I, I still haven't watched the trailer for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 yet. Got a little bit, nothing, nothing crazy, honestly. Um, trying to get some drops. See if we can get a little bit more metal while that metal's cooking up at base. Yeah, the kangaroos are awesome. I gotta say, they are they are definitely one of my favorite mounts now for traversing the map. Um, yeah, they're, they're they're phenomenal. They are phenomenal. We're able to outrun dragons on this thing. Okay, we got a lot of metal now. Let's go away here. We just got a bunch of bunch of metal. Beautiful. So for electronics, still quite short. Um, need about 52 more electronics. Let's see, do I have any more pearls? We're getting there. I mean, we're going to be short a couple of electronics and we're short a little bit of polymer. Um, what was a good source of polymer? Was it Mantis's, right? While we're out looking for Mantis's, also going to sweep this.
Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out um, and try to find some mantises. Grinding good ghillie gives tons of palm. Yeah, I got I got the one ghillie on right now, but need it. But I can't even afford to get rid of it. That's pretty good up, isn't it? Shane saw the mantis for Polly. All right, cool, cool. Hold on, give me one sec before we head up, guys. We're also going to be uh, scouting for Rexes while we're out, too. Back to times one on official servers. What, did they have boosted rates? Hey, drunken German, you have a great night, all right? Jens asks, why wasn't I using a wyvern for what? Oh, for what? Just go moving around the map? Oh, because the, the kangaroo is just fun, dude. Like, it just hits different. Now, granted, the, the wide would probably be a little more efficient, though. Facts. Did I not grab my chainsaw? I didn't grab my chainsaw. I, I, I got that 600 and something one now. I thought I had my other one in my inventory. I didn't even pay attention. When does the center drop? Yeah, so the one I had before was 278, which I thought was really awesome. And then we just got one that is freaking 665, which is a whole nother level. So is a 665 chainsaw pretty good, guys? 
I got fuel. Yeah, I got fuel in my inventory. That's why I thought I had the, uh... I thought I had the chainsaw. What was the release date for that new Star Wars game from Yubi? I know it's this summer. I hope it wasn't August, man. For some reason, I feel like it's August, which sucks. I wanted it to be sooner than that. It was August. Of course, it's fine. the same one. No, this is a different area. This is a different one. It's got trees all over the back of it. Scorch came out on time. I think I think I thought Scorch got delayed a day. Well, now I'm excited about that. Um, I'm excited about the uh, Star Wars game though, because it's it, you're not like a Jedi. It's, it, it seems like it's it's pretty stealth based. And if you look, if you think about Ubisoft, like when they came out with that Avatar game, which I had a blast with, the Avatar game played a lot like a Far Cry game, like a lot like a Far Cry game. So I'm like, yo, I, I wonder if this uh, Star Wars game is gonna play a lot like uh, an Assassin's Creed game. Could you imagine? That would be so sick. Two or twenty five or some shit like that. Let's see if we can spot some higher level ones. From what I noticed, it seems like the Rex has spawned right on the edge of the uh of the desert, of the dunes. One Rex. watch me play it what if it's awesome though tim i 
Everyone hates the game. I mean, uh, freaking. I just play games for myself, and if I like them, I like them. If I don't, I don't. Well, I was trying to find some Rexes um, to get Taman. And then while they were Taman, I was going to fly around the dunes and get some Polymers from Mantises, but I can't find any damn Rexes. comes to games nowadays it's like like when it comes to like reviews and, and things like that I, I honestly like I don't even know what the hell people's like what they're basing games off of anymore like like their personal opinion I, I don't I just don't understand it so I just I just don't I'm like whatever like I don't even because there's certain games that people say that all oh, this game is so shit and then, then there's games that people say are amazing that I'm like, dude, this game is fucking terrible. Like, it's repetitive, boring, no story, like, like... No, I, I, I don't even know what the hell people are basing it off of anymore. Just, I just say screw it. I'm just gonna play the game. If I enjoy it, I enjoy it. If I don't, I don't. It is what it is, you know what I mean? We just got a ton of polymers. The insane pricing of it? How much is it? Is it. I mean, next gen games are $70, right? Is it not $70? Uh, yeah, my, 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 my Thyla could easily kill the, the Mantises. That killer. Um, it does like 600 damage per hit plus bleed. Seventy dollars for the standard edition. Yeah, so I mean that that's about normal. I was gonna say next all the next gen titles are all seventy dollars. It's nothing new. Yeah, gen I mean recent most the most recent games, like all the next gen stuff, it's like standard editions are like seventy. That if you want like the high speed deluxe editions or whatever, they're usually like 90, 89, 99, 90 bucks. And then like collector's editions are like well over a hundred bucks. I just get the, I just get the standard edition on most, most games.
I never see the point of like deluxe editions. Like some most of the times you just get like a couple of extra exclusive weapons and skins. Like the, some new armor skins or something like that. I'm like, yeah, I don't I don't care about none of that. 73 73 and 68 69 are guaranteed rex How am I right now? on the complete opposite side of the map. <laughs> the complete opposite side. They chopped it up to charge more? What do you mean? What, so what are they charging more for? Did they cut content out of the main game and then say, hey, if you want this... If you want the full game, you have to pay more money? Or is it is it like DLC shit? If it's DLC missions and shit like that, then I mean, it is what it is. But if it's base game content and they're just chopping it up to chop it up, then that's fucking stupid. But some games come out with day one DLC, like State of Decay um, came out with the, uh, like the adult ultimate edition content and then they had like the... Uh, Independence Day stuff and all that shit like that they charge extra money for. I see that red drop coming up. Alright, we'll fly down to the other side of the map. Yeah, we're gonna have to fly down to the other side of the map to get those Rexes. stuff. We can grind all them goodies. So now we got a long... Game froze, guys. Did I freeze? Did I freeze in time, Ed? Did I freeze in time to make it look like everything locked up? Is that one point one like K likes already? 
And it's like, nah, dude, I knew you weren't frozen, dude. But it looked it. A melodic with the two months. Two months of humble bee in that crazy chat. Booyah, I appreciate you, dude. Seriously. All right, so this is. Come on. Come on. <laughs> dismantle the elevator to get more resources than grinding so would you that, that that's what i had to question before so do you get more resources back if you grind the stuff or if you build it and dismantle it a lot of holy crap for the drop on the five gifted men. Thank you so much, dude. <laughs> One day he will freeze for real and I will not believe it. I know I'm over here crying wolf, dude. Build and demolish is better. Is that does that go for like even like foundations and shit? Well, if my stream software were to lock up creeping, chat would still go. Like, chat would still be... I would just be sitting here like... You know, and the, the stream would be frozen. Because um, chat is separate from, like, my stream software. Am I going to try to fight that damn boss? Hell no, dude. Screw that stupid-ass boss. But you guys know how it is. You never get, I, I would never get locked up like, like looking like, like cool and shit, you know, like I always get, you, you, always, you always get locked up like, <laughs> like the dumbest fucking faces in the world, dude. Always, always get the fucking dumbass locked up face. fast dude i mean the thing is is like it it's wingspan like moves slow so you kind of feel like you're not really moving that fast but when you look at like how much ground you're actually covering per like flap of the wings it's pretty crazy actually this area here should be some p-rexes every other dino i freaking meet in the game is max level i start hunting for t-rexes and of course they're gonna be freaking baby levels Are you kidding me right now, dude? 
Level 60, really? Wyverns can also pick up dinos. How do, how do you do that? <laughs> Is that another one? So we're getting quite a few spawns on here, but they're just the levels are shit. Nice, and we got, oh, stop doing that. And we're able to get some prime. We've got to be able to get a damn Rex yet. There's another one. This be a decent level, stop. 145, there we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about, chat. Actually just kept the wyvern out. Not like anything's gonna be able to kill it. What happened to my bar set? What did I hit? Old Q. Okay, then what? Oh, I'm holding Q. It ain't. It ain't doing nothing. have to be dismounted. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, we had to be dismounted. Let's work on this. I wanted to get that bag real quick.
And he stole my spyglass, seriously? Come up here for a sec. We'll go down and get this Rex. Killing it. Oh, is this thing really gonna die to fucking vulture? shot. That was a 135, okay. dude.
up this way a little bit. Dust, what's up, brother? Oh, good shot. Thanks for the raid, man. How you doing tonight, brother? Oh, he's running. He's torp running. Go ahead, get some prime on this. So it's base stats, 205 melee. It's got actually a lot of health. Um, a good bit of stamina too for its level. One ten female. So ours is a male, right? Yeah, ours is a male. One for ten female enough, guy. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get a better one. Well, actually, I don't know. We'll just get this one screwed. We don't know what the stats are gonna be like. With the better breeder um, mod that we have, uh, having one of the parents that's a little bit lower of a level doesn't really matter because I can kind of clone the father into the mother. So. Who knows? Maybe the mother will have like five of the fucking melee. We don't got no prime for that one, but To do their thing. Tim with the gifted. Thank you so much, brother. So we got two Rexes, male, female, right there. We'll let those tame up. One's definitely going to take a bit longer than the other, just due to the fact that we're taming it with uh, just regular raw meat instead of the prime, but it's all good. I want to check this red drop.
Uh, the reason why I didn't cryo the Ryvern was because of it, all the crap it had in its inventory. I didn't want to have to keep playing musical inventory. Um, but nothing there could really kill it for the most part. It's got, you know, 10,000 health. I moved the resources over to the, uh, well, I, I did have the, uh, we're, we're heading out to the, the dunes right now after I get this to get more uh, polymers. So I'm not super worried about it. The only resources I cared about was the stuff I got from the drop. I'm going to go uh, grind out polymers right now in the dunes. But yeah, we're ha we're, we kept having to bounce our inventory back and forth, back and forth, so... I just didn't want the Rexes to get attacked by anything. in the ground. That's the one that's in the ground. Pretty good assault rifle too. I think we have one right around that level already. So our mantis is in the, yeah, we can find them in this northern between green and blue, right? The compound bow. Yeah, we had one on island. I really liked a lot. It did a ton of damage. And these ones that we got are pretty, they're all right. One, four, fives. Oh, well, the reason why I don't do the transfer all veil is because um, when I, especially in that moment right there, when I'm individually clicking the gear in the drop, I'm, I'm looking at what I got. If I just click grab all, um, I don't know what I looted, you know what I mean? So as I'm like going through looking at each individual thing, that, that's why I do it like that. Um, and because I have limited inventory right now, um, I want to make sure I'm only grabbing stuff that I, I'm actually going to use. Do a couple. We'll do probably one run of. Yeah, uh, yeah, we should be good. Do one more run, or one more batch. We should be good. No, Valia, I, I I understand grabbing like you know grabbing everything. But the, the issue is though. 
the more stuff I grab, the more trips I gotta make back to base, and the, you know what I mean? So it's just longer. Um, and people just will lose interest. It's already not all that interesting what I'm doing in the first place, so. The, le the least amount of trips I have to make, the better. I just kind of grab what I need and go. So that's more than enough, Polly. We got those Rexes out there taming up. Um, we got another red drop down here that we're going to go grab. Larger Polly stacks. Yeah, yeah, because it only... It, 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 it Polly breaks down one per stack, right? Red drop has something in it. That'd be nice. The uh, visual inventory mod. Yeah, that was the one you were talking about. I gotta, I gotta look into that one, Russian. was probably one of the worst red drops I've ever got. It was dog shit. But yeah, I mean, for me, it's not necessarily like the inventory. It's the way that things stack and aren't the way that weight and stuff works. Um, you find yourself having to make crazy amounts of trips. You know what I mean? Um, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth because of the weight mechanic. And um, when you're kind of just playing the game on your own and just grinding out some shit like it doesn't really matter but you, you gotta think all those trips if i have to go back and forth you know from let's just say blue obelisk to my base boom boom about over and over and over again just the travel time alone is going to be probably an hour you know what i mean um so i gotta try to cut out some of that boredom the best i can without video editing because obviously i can't edit while i'm live First dump. Yeah, I boosted up the taming rates. Oh, yeah, of course. That would be unbearable. Um, we had, when I first started playing Aberration, I was playing with vanilla taming rates. And, oh, it was, and we did it for a while too. I stuck with it for a while, but it was it was brutal. It was brutal. Some of the some of the teams were taking like hours and hours and hours. And the problem is, is like when at least on like a normal server, you can like log off and like your shit's gonna keep going. But when you're doing it single player, I it, 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 it like time stops. So I would I was catching myself having to leave my game running. It was it was very 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 annoying. So now we got to get what, uh, the white pearls, which I think we can go get at that oasis area, right? I 
Yeah, my breeding settings are pretty good. Th th those will not take... It doesn't take me very long to breed stuff, which is good. Especially if we're trying to prep for fights and stuff. But yeah, the uh, my tame settings before... Oh, they were, they were... It was bad. I feel like they're okay now, you know what I mean? Like, um, they're not like I when I first started playing. Cause the, re the thing I was trying to get away from, and the reason why I wanted to play with better taming uh, times, was um, I was able to just use raw meat. And that was it. Just raw meat. And I was taming with raw meat like I like it was the best kibble in the game because my taming times were just outrageous. And um So there's an oasis. But we'll check this down on this river. Um so yeah, my tame times were just so ridiculous that I didn't have to get kibble, I didn't have to use prime meat, I didn't have to do any. I just throw raw meat in there, then boom, it tamed it too super super fast. So I didn't want them settings anymore because I wanted to actually have to kind of like utilize some of Ark's systems, you know, like the crafting and actually having to make kibble or use the better meat types, um, like mutton or uh, prime. Uh but yeah, it was, I, I kind of pushed it a little too far to the point where even with like kibble, it was still going to take hours, you know what I mean? Instead of days. <laughs> and I was just like, nah, like, we, we got we to gotta change this up a little bit because this ain't going to work. Oh, I didn't drop everything. That's fine. I don't even know if I'll be able to get the pearls here. It's a lot of bugs, guys. Printing a UD on vanilla takes like a week to that's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, I guess if like you're only playing Ark and like it's your favorite game of all time and you're just playing every single day, you wake up in the morning, you put on Ark, you go and you do your thing, all and like you kind of are just living in the world. I get it, you know what I mean? That'd be probably pretty enjoyable for people who, who really enjoy that side plot. Like, that's not, I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't enjoy that, that amount of effort in any game like that that's a lot you know what i mean that's like skirt and mmorpg levels of hard work <laughs> pearls in the water of obelisk green spe uh, especially okay Wait, which one's better, red or green? Let me check them both. We're right near red. Well, that's what I mean, Jay. Like, it, it requires that date. Well, it still requires that daily maintenance. You got to log in. You got to make sure all your dinos are eating. They have food. You got that. You know what I mean? Like, uh, when I was playing on that server, um, like like world of warcraft for instance if i don't log in for a week if i was like ah oh, you know i'm just not there's, there's no negative like there's nothing that's gonna happen on a traditional mmo like even if you don't log in for a month whatever dude you know what i mean nothing's gonna happen yeah you might be behind the curve on some things but there's nothing that's gonna happen but when it comes to arc if you don't log in like your your teams die people fuck with your base your stuff starts breaking down so it, it it's mandatory like there's no like ah oh, you know i just don't feel like hopping on today or i just won't hop on this week like you can't like there, that does that that's not a thing if you're playing on a legitimate server like you have to maintain the game in some shape or form so that's why i mean it's definitely way more upkeep than a traditional or uh, MMO because an MMO like World of Warcraft, it's an option. I don't, if I don't want to play that week, I don't have to. Like, yeah, I'm going to be missing out on some stuff, but there's nothing, there's no negative uh, outcome for me not logging on. But no, ARC is a mandatory thing. And I, I learned that when I was on that server because people would be like, hey, dude, your base is going to be breaking down in like a day or so. And I'm like, fuck, dude, what? Like, shit, I'm not even home, man. Like, 
I can't log on to, you know what I mean? Like, hey, dude, you know, um, they're going to be doing this, and, and, or your, your dyno, your, your fucking trial is empty. Now, it's like if you're playing with other people and you got other people that can kind of pick up the slack for you, that's another uh, instance. You know, like, that's, that's different, but... If you're playing solo, yeah, you gotta manage all that shit on your own, you know what I mean? There's there's no there's no slacking, you know what I mean? So it's very, very uh intrusive in my opinion on on, on life. But that's why I have such a hard time that pl to, uh, playing games that require so much effort because I don't play any one game specifically, you know what I mean? Um, and it, it it's hard to find that kind of time to commit to a single game, especially if it's not a game that people are like over the hills in love with. You know what I mean? If it's like a game that people are just absolutely going crazy for on the channel, it's just... The you know, viewership is insanity, and it, it, you know what I mean. Then it's like, okay, yeah, you know, we can afford to, to you know, invest some extra time into this. You know what I mean? I can, I can, because it's worth it. You know what I mean? It, it's the game is putting out what I, you know, the same thing I'm putting in. But when you're putting in a ton, and the game's barely giving you anything in the return, it's like, this ain't this ain't working. So many pearls right now. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. About to happen. I might go ahead and hit the green obelisk now. I think we cleared this place out pretty good. If your generator runs out of gas, your cryo fridge die, then your cryo pods run out of Yeah, exactly, you know what I mean? So. It's 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 a lot of upkeep um, to play a game like this, which for and like I said, which is not necessarily a bad thing for for people who truly are just th this is their game, like this is all they want to play, this is all they're going to play. It's probably perfect, you know what I mean, because it gives them something daily to do. Um, because that's the worst thing, especially if it's a game that you love and truly are enjoying. When you run out of shit to do, that's where games get kind of crazy boring, you know what I mean? Um, but no, uh, yeah, Ark definitely will keep your ass busy <laughs> if you want it to. But right now we're in the middle of the heat event. It's about to get real hot here in a sec. Pearls on the land too? No, we're not playing official right now. We're just playing, uh, this is a single player. Yeah, I, I mainly always just play Ark single player because I can control everything, you know what I mean? Um, if I want some things to be faster, some things to be slower. If I want some, you know, if I, I don't want people to mess with my stuff. And... That's like one of the, the downsides to playing like like PvP, for instance, you know, if, if I wanted to progress, you know what I mean, in PvP, I would have to I would have to risk players setting me back to player day one, you know what I mean? If players come in and they they go ahead and nuke my shit, you know what I mean? It's like I could put forty hours into the game, get prepping for a boss, and then players come and boom, they just they just piss it all up, you know what I mean? 
So being a content creator, at least I want to, you have to have 100% control over your, your game. Like if I don't have control over the game, over the server, over that type of stuff, it, it if somebody's like, Hey, you know, I'm going to shut this server down. I'm SOL. Like my, my whole series that we just invested all that time into finally. Oh my God. I felt like so much effort to craft that chemistry. That's this. But uh, all that time and effort that I invested into the series could absolutely just get flushed down the toilet because of whatever. Yeah, you definitely gotta, definitely gotta be careful. I, I love the idea of multiplayer arc like it, like I love it. Right? That shit sounds like it just sounds perfect. It makes perfect sense. It's it's such a good system. Uh, we'll stack this. Yeah, I absolutely love the idea of it. But it's just a lot of time. And I love video games too much to to dedicate that much time to just one. Tim. Hey, go do your thing, brother. Get that good sleep, all right, man? Finally, guys, finally, we got the chemistry bench. Now we can stop using these damn things. And that's the thing, a, a, a lot of people have, you know, they have their thing, especially when it comes to survival games. And my thing is, I like, I love survival games, you know, I, mean, I have a really, really good time with them. But the thing about survival games, every, I feel like everybody has their own part of survival games they love the most, you know what I mean? And some people really enjoy base building, some people really enjoy um, resource gathering. And, and, and for me, I, when it comes to survival games, I enjoy the strategy that goes into survival games. And I, I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that, but like the, there's like a strategic element to like trying to figure out, okay, how am I gonna survive this? Or, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I love about survival games. And not necessarily like, like, gr like I like resource gathering too, you know, like Sons of the Forest is pretty decent, uh, has a pretty good system for resource gathering that doesn't feel like it's too much. You know what I mean? Because I feel like survival games can get very tedious with, uh, with resource gathering. And I believe Ark is one of those games that gets really, really tedious. Um, because I don't like when things inherently just cost, like it's like, oh, in, to make this more interesting, you know, we're just gonna make it cost a ton of resources. I don't like that system. Like, I don't like things being like, oh, you know, to craft this super amazing weapon, now instead of getting a thousand metal, now you gotta get 50,000 metal and it's just like bro like that's not even fun like all you're doing is making me have to do more of this very tedious task and just do more of it i like when games are like oh to, to craft this new amazing weapon instead of getting a hundred or thousand or instead of getting a hundred metal you got to get this new resource that you have to do this new activity that's very hard. You got to go into this really complicated cave or this complicated area to get this new resource. Um, that's very dangerous, and 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 then you got to craft this other complex thing. Like add complexity to it, not volume, because volume and more doesn't make it more interesting. I want complexity. You know what I mean? Um, I want things to be more interesting. Like that. That's that's what I like. You know what I mean? And some games do do that. You know, Conan does that pretty well. You know, instead of, and instead of just having to get more of a singular item, 
you have to just get um, you have to get more complex um, items. Not Conan, not Conan. Um, and shrouded, and shrouded, does it? So we got that. That. Um, so we need. You know what sucks is my the game reset earlier, so my oil collector is probably reset. Hoping that we can survive this. But some people really do just enjoy grinding resources. I mean, hey, it is what it is. I'm not going to tell you how to play your game or what to like or what not to like, you know what I mean? Uh, some people, they don't mind going out and, and gathering a million metal. Like, they, they enjoy it all, you know what I mean? Then they sit there and they count their metal, their metal bands, and they're like, dude, I got a fucking million. I'm going to get another million tomorrow. You know what I mean? So it, it, it just, some people just really enjoy it. And... Um, but resource grinding has never been something I was a, ever a big fan of. Oh, and Shroud's enemies, oh yeah, are, are not the greatest, for sure. So when that one Rex finishes, we could probably take the prime meat off of the one and put it on the other one. Help finish it off. Quick games are getting too grindy. Yeah, there's there's definitely been some games out there that are just absurdly grindy. Um, I, the, the good thing about at least how I'm playing Ark is is you can kind of tailor the grind. You know what I mean? If, if you're like, dude, like the resource gathering is too much, you can turn your, your rates up. You know, you can gather more. Um, you can also... Uh, is it this one you're supposed to be able to find a phoenix to is during one of these events? Uh, but you can turn your gather rates up. If you're, if you're tired of having to make a billion trips, you can turn your weight up. You know what I mean? Make it so you can hold more stuff. So it's very, very customizable, which I, that, that's the one thing I do like about ARC is um, you, can, you, can alt, you can tailor the experience. If you don't like, grind, like grinding on certain things like breeding or taming, which a lot of people hate the breeding grind. Some people love the breeding grind. Um, you, can, you can just kind of erase all of it. Yeah, we, we can actually tank the, uh, we can tank the, um, heat event pretty decent. We took damage, but not too much. Drop real quick. Yo, there's so many drops that go in the ground. It's kind of crazy, dude.
think this is like the third or fourth drop I've seen in the ground on this map. Yeah, what was that one game? Um, There's a couple. Th there was one survival game we just played not that long ago. No one survived. That game's stupid grindy. That one's really grindy. Um, the Infected, super, super grindy. Um, yeah, there's, there's a couple of them out there that are pretty grindy. Never seen one in the ground? Oh, dude, there's, there's yeah, there's, like, there's a couple of them that are um, almost guaranteed to be in the ground. It could be a it could be a single player thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, it could definitely be a single player thing. Lots in the ground on console. is done. Seventeen. We'll get it back home. We'll check to see what the stats look like. That one should tame a bit faster now, though. We got some got the prime meat. I don't know what level is this. Five, really. Some color though. I'm gonna get it literally just for its color. I might be able to get lucky and be able to breathe that color into my Rexes. drop there for that uh, note well oh, aberration man ah oh, dude it's my favorite map it's my favorite map on arc I, I think it's gonna look amazing 
is gonna look amazing on this. inside at some point or actually just build a regular refrigerator that could be probably ideal now that we got the generator and stuff let's go check out this rex Pray for good stats, guys. 217. Let's see, what do we get? 302 melee, 10,000 health, 2,000 stamina. So the health and stamina are, are great, in my opinion. I, I think the health, stamina, stat traits are, or stats are good. That's without imprints. So with imprint, that's going to go up to like freaking what? 13,000 or so health. The melee might jump up close to 400. But decent health. Decent health. This baby has 214 on melee. That's like 42-ish points. Yeah, it's it seems like a decent a, a decent uh, health. That's why we just gotta kind of see what the the other Rex is gonna have for stats. Cause it could be, I'm, I'm hoping for good melee. That'd be awesome, like 400% melee. And then for um, I got this. Here, these saddles here, 67 armor. They're a little expensive though on the metal, and almost 500 metal per saddle. Oh, I think I might have another one. Yeah, I have this stupid ascendant one here, which is 96. But yeah, 12, 1600 metal per saddle. I mean, it's not an ungodly amount, like realistically. Um, it could be way worse. You know what I mean? But that's... Some of you guys are like, that ain't shit, dude. Couple RGs and blah, blah. I have 100,000. I make all 20 saddles in two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, my preserving bin had no spark powder? Oh, go remedy that real quick. Look at another scorched event. Lots and lots of wyverns. I, I heard if you use wyverns in the boss fight, though, the boss never goes on the ground. You don't need 20 Rexes. 10 is more than enough for Alpha Mana Core, really?
Yeah, that's what I thought. If you if you if you take flyers, I guess if you're using all flyers to attack, I guess it doesn't matter if he lands or not. But I didn't expect you guys to be like, oh yeah, ten to twelve rexes, and you can. I, 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 where do you even find? Is there? You can find UDs on this map, right? I, I think we got to go up in the mountains, over near Blue Obelisk, where the near the Drake Trench. I think that's where you can find UDs, right? It's yeah, it's up in the mountains there. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we're gonna have to go and try to get ourselves a UD2. Oh shit. We got the base. I like I like the base here. I told you guys it was gonna be a lot nicer than the one we had over there. You know what I mean? It's it's definitely come together pretty damn good. We got the chemistry bench. We got a lot of the, the big stuff crafted up and done. stuff crafted up here. We need to hit more um, of the caves. I don't know exact. I don't remember exactly where the caves are. So we're gonna have to get that figured out. But all right, guys, we're gonna end this one here. Um, we, we got some good progress done with the base. We got, you know, all this stuff built. Uh, we ended up getting some Rexes that are decent level, uh, the, the good health, things like that. So I think we'll be okay. Uh, once this one tames up, we just got to see what the the melee stat on it's going to be. And then we'll be able to go from there. Because it was a bit lower of a level, but still 110. It, should, it could potentially have some, some, good, uh, some good stats. But there it is, guys. Again, thank you so much for coming and hanging out today. I really appreciate all the love and support. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some more streams. Not exactly sure what we're doing, but we'll be back with some more streams. <laughs> and... Um, Again, I want to say, if you guys want some more ARC, all you have to do is smash that like button, subscribe, drop comments, do all that stuff. Uh, the best way to let me know is you guys are actually interested and still want to see more. And then, uh, yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your night. I'm going to go maybe watch another episode of Fallout and then uh, go to sleep. And uh, we'll be back at it again tomorrow, guys. So uh, thank you all again. I love you all. See you in the next one. Peace.